Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my sleepwalker run. Starting day 192, and we're in Desolation Point in Hibernia, uh, processing station. Um, it sounds like there's a blizzard outside. Take a peek. And we're fairly well set up here. We've been here for a while. Um, we um, managed to kill a local bear a little a few days ago, and we've eaten a good part of them now. Um, pretty ugly out here. Let's get some food into us. And yeah, I want to catch you guys up on the last uh, 100 days or so of survival. Um, the last Sleepwalker episode that I posted was day 99, uh, 99 100. So that was me hitting the 100 day goal. Um, and let's take a look back. So uh, that was back over here. Let's see. Day 99. We were in Coastal Highway. At the uh, Quonset slash that house near the Quonset. We just killed the moose. And we're sitting on a huge pile of meat out there. Um, harvested the whole moose, all kinds of gut and everything. So I went ahead over the next few days. We stayed in Coastal and we fashioned up the moose hide satchel and the bear skin coat. Uh, you'll notice that I have the moose hide coat cloak there as well, which I believe I forged out in um, Broken Railroad. But anyway, that's getting ahead. So after I was done with that, a few days later, day one, let's see. Yeah, we went back to Mystery Lake. So we went through the the uh, ravine up to Mystery Lake just to check our camp office. It had been a long time since we'd been there and everything was still where we left it, amazingly. And we did a little messing around there, uh, checked the fishing huts and stuff. And then we decided to go to Broken Railroad. So I went out to Forlorn, went hung out, and we made it to Broken Railroad. And we stayed in Broken Railroad for 20 days or so. 123 to 149 so like what 26 days and in that time killed a moose out there you know made the moose hide satchel killed a bear stockpiled huge quantities of food killed a bunch of wolves it was good i mean just fully explored it did the ravine out there it's a good time broken Railroad's a beautiful place and uh, i really had fun out there but it was time to come back and we came back out and I came to Mystery Lake, hung around Mystery Lake for a little while, did Pleasant Valley. Um, not sure exactly why I went to Pleasant Valley, but... Uh, oh yeah, went through Pleasant Valley through on my way to Coastal Highway because I had it in my mind that I was going to go back to Desolation Point. Last year in Desolation Point, we got attacked by a wolf and uh, badly injured, and we did our forge and then we got the heck out. So that was, it was kind of a abortive kind of entry into a desolation point so i decided to come back and we've been here a while let's see i got here on the 180th so we've been there for 12 days we've done a fair bit killed a bear as i said ate a bunch of it killed a bunch of wolves and deer stockpiled food at both the riken and at hibernia uh cleared the map like basically went everywhere except for scruffy's cave um so I thought it might be fitting to check, you know, in the context of checking back in on the sleepwalker to see what Scruffy's up to. And, yeah, I mean, that is going to be weather permitting, but this isn't exactly great travel weather. Uh, I will wait a touch for it to warm up. Uh, even though we have late, late game kit. We are getting still whipped by the weather. So the weather pretty much plateaus. I, I don't know exactly, but I think it plateaus around here. I'm oh, sorry, around, around a, I don't know, 70, 80, 100 maybe. So we've done about 100 days where we were uh, pretty, uh, pretty good. You can see if you look at my condition, I've lost one here and there due to weather probably. Uh, I did actually have an accident where around here. Uh, wait, is this in Pleasant Valley? Okay, I actually don't know what happened to me out here. Um, got hurt pretty bad there. Maybe I got attacked by a wolf, but I don't remember. <laughs> but I went down to 75% condition, so something bad happened. I actually don't remember what happened. I th it must have been a wolf attack. I'm not remembering right now. So hey, they're still out there waiting for me. Crept my way back up, and then up here, a few days ago... 
day 185, I fell through the ice and lost 10% and I 13%. And the reason I was doing that was if you remember back to my last desolation run, I shot a bear and he went out and died on an ice floe. And I didn't go get the arrow, but this time I came back and the arrow was there. Obviously the corpse is gone, but I was lured in by that arrow. And uh, yeah, so that was interesting. I, I charted, the arrow is right near the edge of the ice, uh, right near the water basically where the water starts. And I charged out and there's an ice flow out there. So I thought I could just run out and jump onto the ice flow, but it turns out you can fall through ice flows as well. So I didn't, I found out unfortunately right out there that that could happen. And so, and I didn't even get the arrow. <laughs> so I lost 10%. I spent about a week uh, gaining it back, sleepwalker style. And yeah, so here we are. Um, pretty well fixed. I've got tons of water, a fair bit of food. Uh, let's take a peek at the clothing situation again. 89% bear skin. I reluctant to repair the bear skin until it's lower because there's kind of rear. There's that thing, 90% in the hat. Everything's a little chewed up, but nothing's too bad. Now, I'm going to put one into this thing because the thing about Fluffy, or is it Scruffy? I never know the difference. Maybe it's Scruffy. He is known to go after ear wraps. He's got like ear wrap radar. He will attack your ear wrap. So, um, make sure that's topped up. Okay, got an, oh, it sounds like it's got nicer outside. And I'm going to put a little bit into these things just to bring them up because they're the 70 mark, which is usually my threshold for repair. Quick repairs, so my skill must be up. Everything else looks pretty good. Uh, I've got a bunch of stuff, so I've got extra repair items for wolf skin. I don't even have a wolf skin coat, so not a big deal, but I've got the deer skin, rabbit pelt, a couple extra items of cured leather that I don't really need, but there they are. Um, I've got a lot of wood on me. Get rid of that. Just get rid of this. And we have a stockpile of wood from Heck. Look at that. It's huge. These lockers are massive. So let's take four of those with us for the road. And yeah. See what's what outside. Okay, two down. Um, it would be nice to go in, in warmer weather, but hey. Okay. Here's some birds. Just transit birds. It's cold, but it's not that cold. Um, okay, so let's go warm up. And I think what we'll probably do is go hit the road. So as I said, I explored almost all of Desolation. The only thing I haven't explored is uh, Scruffy's Cave. But yeah, I think it's time to go see what he's up to. Um, which, you know, it's a risky business altogether. Uh, it is really, apart from the, the wolves in Hushed, it's one of the only really scary places, I think, on the map. So it's still early in the day, so I don't want to go with too low energy. So I think we're just going to go, guys. Uh, we're going to take... Piece of bait and hit the road. I'm not sure what the safest way is. That was scary. But this way looks pretty clear. I did clear out the bear recently. Well, like a while ago. Like, I don't know, five, six days ago. So I, I'm a little surprised that there's nothing here. But I thought maybe the wolves would have come back. But uh, yeah, it's cold out. But we're going to probably make it okay to the uh, cave. Hopefully I have a pry bar on me because I'm probably going to get in a tussle with uh, old Scruffy. 
Now, I could just tussle to the death. Um, you know, the sleepwalker is in a situation of true cabin fever. He's, he's really kind of like at the end of his rope. Doesn't know what to do. Uh, he's He's been out here for so long and he's so lonely and just broken that, yeah, he's beside himself with isolation. So, if it goes south in here, That is kind of maybe the way it goes. Now, here we are. Ah, look at this. Okay, guys, so wish me luck. Here we go. I'm gonna get a little quiet here. I've got meat on me. Pretty quiet. listening guys didn't hear anything so yeah a little disappointing um, I hate to say it, but I was kind of hoping to see him. Yeah, but it would appear he's not home. It's way dark. Scruffy. Nothing. Um, tell you what. Save a little bit of... I mean, the only downside of this is that it makes a lot of noise. Yeah, I don't think he's home. So yeah, a little disappointing. Um, maybe we'll have to come back. 
I guess you just can't count on the guy being home. He's Turned just well. he's got his own schedule. Um, anyway, let that burn for a sec. Oh, here's the guy. He fell off or jumped off. I suppose I might as well eat his stuff, eh? Wow, that's a lot. Scruffy, if you're not home, you're gonna lose your stuff. That's that's just how it goes. 28 minutes. Do it with the hand. And yeah, I have to say I'm a little disappointed. Um, not to have Scruffy here. 28 minutes. Do another one. I was all ready. I mean, I had my 105% health. I've got my bear skin on. Just ready to go, basically. Ready to rumble. Okay, that thing's done. So I guess we might as well see what we can see in this cave. Was it? Oh, look at that. Scruffy, you've been holding out on me here. Look at this. Not that we really need it, but... He's been a busy little wolf. And he's going to be PO'd when he comes back, that's for sure. Clear out all his gear. Yeah, no other little enclaves here that I can see. So yeah, let's just um, let's hit him up. Uh, drop another reclaim bin. Okay, so let's just go. Let's go steal his stuff. been here so long that I'm surprised he hasn't come back and caught us in the act. Um, let's do some torch breakdown. Wait seven minutes. Okay, I'm going to Take everything, basically. Oh, it looks like it's gonna go out. Okay. So let's go, um, that's all my decoys. Let's go take the last one. Where's that deer? Oh my gosh, guys. Oh. Uh. Well, Scruffy, I mean, this is it, man. You gotta, if you don't. Don't uh, guard your stuff. Folks are going to take it, you know? And the one thing I've been noticing at this point in the game is that you have way too much energy. It's like, um, you know, 
Unless you do major traveling, you're never tired at night. It's, uh... Okay. So the scruffs, I've just cleaned you right out. Um... Got stuff going. 29 minutes. Well, I'll wait for water. Ah, eh, we're good. Um, let's eat this, get rid of it. And I suppose while I'm here, you know, let's eat the small stuff. 600 calories and 700 calories. It's a fair bit. If he comes back, his place is just cleaned right out. And I'm assuming you actually have to leave the cave to get him to spawn. Like, I don't think he's just going to show up. But I don't know exactly, but... Anyway, uh, we'll have to come back, I think, and search for him. I wonder what happens if I sleep here. What do you think, guys? Um, I'm not going to bother cooking that. Is there anything I can do? Let's sharpen stuff up. Because what I think is going to happen is, if I get into it with Scruffy, I'm going to try to take him out with the axe. Because, you know, I want to drop him. I do want to take him out, you know. 6% on that thing. Two hours? Ah, so we're so, you know, so much daylight left. There's nothing to do. See, this is endgame, guys. It's just like day 200. How many more days can I do nothing, you know? You just, after a certain number of days, every part of your soul just wants to restart. And uh, that's kind of what's been happening. But here we are back again, seeing what's going on with this guy. He's, uh, I don't know how people do 600 day runs. I frankly just don't know. Uh, unless you're just doing laps, you know, of the map. That's pretty much all I can see. Making sense. I guess while I'm here two hours, I might as well hack this up. Bam. Yeah, that was good. Useful. And, I mean, if I just sleep here, it, it could be considered suicide. Um, I think what we're going to do is make a move and head back. Although, frankly, guys, Came looking for Scruffy, right? Let's find him. Okay, I'm just gonna go back myself into a corner here and wait. So now we're in the dark. And it's really dark in here. Here we go, guys. I suppose I should have this thing out. This would make the most sense.
It's quiet. Well, it's dawn, guys. Put one more out, right? I'm kind of waiting for that light to come out, but I'm not seeing it. It's, it is a dark cave. There we go. Getting a little bit of light back. Okay. still here. Did I harvest it all? Cooked venison. Okay. I thought I had more meat, but okay. Now I should have cooked that venison. Oh well. Um, Alright guys, so yeah. I'm going to say I'm a little disappointed with this. One more. One more hour. Scruffy. This is it, man. Bring it. Because there is a thing that says can be attacked in your sleep in the custom options. I've never been attacked in my sleep. Um, I can't help but wonder what that would be like. Oh, there was another piece. I knew there was. A little tiny piece. Okay. But yeah, Scruffy really uh, had a big night out. He's over lying in a snowbank somewhere hungover. There it is, guys. Uh, one wolf disappointment. I guess we can do this. baiting him here. Might as well do the rest of these sticks. Just completely harvest the guy's cave. I mean, hell, I should even take his bones, you know? Alright. Well, guys... What that means is that we'll probably have another Sleepwalker episode uh, at some point because, you know, that that's going to seriously PO him and uh, maybe he'll come up for revenge. You never know. Hmm. Nice day out. Cold, but manageable. Monster Cedar, then. Uh, oh yeah, that would be this guy that they're circling. I was like, for a second, I was like, whoa, there's something up there. You can't get up there. Yeah, so we spent the night at Scruffy's, and it was pleasant. Pretty quiet around here, guys. It's like the food drop off is real uh, towards end game. I'm not sure what the best way to get back in here is. 
This is where Scruffy is waiting for me, right? Wait, wait. Wait till my guard's down. Get me on the way home, right? Okay. Oops. Got the bait. And yeah, uh, back home. So that was really uneventful. As is all of late game, uh, it's hard to keep yourself interested. Uh, yeah. But yeah, we harvested some new guts to my ever, ever increasing supply of cash gear. Another two deer hides on the Barbie here. Um, yeah, this will go. What will we do, right, guys? So you know, sleepwalkers banished to another hundred days of wandering. Oh, the sun came out. That would count as a high point in the morass of boredom that he's in. Yeah, beautiful though, as always. Okay guys, so, yeah, what are we dealing with here? Day 193, so, some of you guys had asked, um, or expressed interest in hearing what happened to the sleepwalker. So this is what happened, you know, he's playing scruffy roulette, he's out of desolation, just kinda like, he's lonely, you know, he's lonely. And I don't even hear the loons anymore. I don't know if they die off, but uh, it's a fire over there from way back when that never disappears or never fills up. With snow. Oh, I'm gonna get hypothermia here. Get back in. Yeah. So anyway, guys, um, I'm going to sign off. I don't know how long it's been, but I think that's sufficient for an update on you there. It's been about a half hour or so. So yeah, let's call that. Um, and yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I will catch you guys next time.